Hello, Bike Life fam. Today we're going to be going over the breakdown of my new motorcycle. And uh, I'm going to go over some of the things I plan to change, some of the things I have changed, and what results I will be expecting. So, I'll let you guys try and guess what the bike is without actually showing it. And uh, if you know what it is, don't give it away. Alright guys. Alrighty guys, so like I said, going over some stuff on the new bike, which I will not be showing you because this is just a breakdown video. And the reveal video will be coming soon, as soon as I'm done working on it. Got quite a bit left, but... So first we're going to go over, you know, here are all, all the parts. There's a shit tongue because the whole bike is torn apart. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. But, uh, yeah, so, so far we've got uh, it down to the valve cover. Pretty much everything's off, the tank and everything. Um, here's the valve cover. We're doing the valve adjustment. Um, just to give you a little reference, the valves are supposed to be at, uh, the exhaust valves, it's 0.20 to 0.25. But it's actually at, when we measure, it's at like 0 0.05. So it's way off, and I expect a definite power increase from adjusting those. Um, also doing a full tune-up, of course. We'll, we're going to get the spark plugs done and all new fluids, everything, cleaning the crap out of it. It's so dirty, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, and I'm going to get uh, Graves block off plates for this, remove the charcoal canister, all emissions stuff is coming off. Ram mount for my phone, other tools and shit. Uh, new smoked t LED turn signals. Uh, let's see, here's the old spark plugs, which actually don't look bad. But I have new ones, so we're going to replace those. Stainless steel braid brake lines in red to go with the accents of the bike. Uh, new exhaust packing material because uh, the exhaust is sounding a little raspy and we can tell part of it is blown out. Um, we got new brake pads here. EBC, it's not amazing, but you know what, they're cheap. And it does need new rotors, but I might have to wait on that because it's a little expensive. Here we got the air filter, and then here it's uh, grips because the grips are destroyed too. Miscellaneous stuff for that. Valve cover gas that's in there too. New oil, oil filter, brake fluid, radiator fluid. Um, that's that. And here we've got, uh, like I said, the bike was dirty as crap, but my loving girlfriend actually cleaned the mid pipe, so yeah, a little dirty there, but she's looking pretty sexy there. That part's actually going to show, so that's going to look sick. Um, got to clean the rest of the exhaust, of course. Oh yeah, look at that beast. Oh, so sexy. I w bet you guys wish you could see it. Oh, maybe I'll let you guys see it. You know what? Here we go. Oh, just kidding. I'm not. You have to wait. Has a uh, HMF muff oh, HMF. There we go. HMF mufflers on it, and uh, gonna put those on the bike. You know, goes like that. Oh, wait, does it go this, this, like that? Uh, sh I don't know which way it goes. Right here. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I was gonna show. This part is part of the intake. Um, basically, this this is part of the tunnel that has the intake go through the uh, the air filter, and it's ripped here point being all that air that's intaking to go to the air filter is just shooting out the side here not even going inside the engine so I expect another power increase from that and this dirty ass air filter right here look at that nasty bitch so got a new air filter gonna replace that it's got one of those lightweight uh shore shorai batteries I don't know how the hell to pronounce it but whatever here's the throttle bodies which are not terribly dirty but also not super clean so I'm gonna clean those put those back on should be nice it, it used to have black levers on it but they've uh, sun faded to this beautiful just just lustrous beautiful silver color you know just kidding I'm, I'm ditching those gonna get new levers for sure uh, so yeah new levers forks have to be rebuilt replacing the tires already took off the plates and mirrors got mirror block offs coming in and uh, you know gotta do that of course bike's got these cages on it that I plan to take off because it hit my knees actually when I'm sitting on the bike and it's really irritating plus if the bike is laid down it has more likely to flip you know because they're not like these frame sliders where they're actually the woodcraft fr frame sliders are designed to just slide like if you're out of track so it doesn't flip um so yeah I take off the cages which will be nice clean the shit out of everything the paint has a little sun wear on it um just from being out in the sun so I'm gonna polish it and use some wax Oh, and then over here, I've got my uh, new HIDs for it, LEDs for the corner lights, which will be nice. Here are the bulbs or the DDM tuning Ultra HID kit. Uh, going to get a solo seat for it eventually. Probably like 100 bucks on Amazon. I haven't found uh, like an actual 
uh, GYTR one like I have for the R6. So I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. We'll see. That's gonna come eventually, though. Get my fix, you know. Yeah. Here's the real question, though. What am I gonna do with the R6? Well, if I like this bike more and I don't really ride the R6 ever, I don't know. You guys think I should sell it? One of you guys want it? <laughs> GoPro Battery Dad, stay tuned for more. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Expect some more vlogs and edits, of course. Alrighty, guys, have a good one. Ride safe, and I will see you in the next video. Rental clip ons, I can move it to exactly where I want it to be because there's extra tube here. Because, like I said, they stick out wider now. So I have it set up to where my fingers sit right inside the pocket there, and it gives me really good control of it. Same with the clutch over here, except I use four fingers for the clutch for when I actually want to.